What's up guys, it's Robo13 and I'm here with the 4.3.2 tethered jailbreak for um, all the devices that had the 4.3.1 jailbreak. And I'll have uh, all the links in the description for this. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up here. Actually, here I'll show you that I'm running the 4.3.2. This is the newest firmware that just came out right there. 4.3.2. Okay, and there's nothing on it. Those are just apps, it's not jailbroken already. So what you want to do first is download up here the Red Snow file and the uh, your firmware that is the iPod, mine's the iPod Touch 4, and you want to get the 4.3.1 version of it. Do not download the 4.3.2. What you're going to do is you're going to have the, whoopsies, have the Red Snow file think that it's running the 4.3.2 firmware but it's actually running the 4.3.1 and it will still jailbreak your 4.3.2 uh, device. So once you download both of these, I'll, I'll the link in the description for both of them. You're going to want to red, run Red Snow and it's going to search, it says to search for your corresponding IPSW. When you click browse, you're going to find that uh, firmware. So right here I have the 4.3.1 okay, firmware. Just double click on that. And I'll say that it's identified right here. And then you're going to come down here and click next. Alright, once that's done, you're going to come down here and click install Cydia. And you can click any of the other things that you want, but all I want is install Cydia for right now, so I'm just going to click that and click next. And it says make sure your device is turned off. So, turn your any or whatever your device you have plugged in off make sure it's completely off and then click next it's going to tell you to hold down the corner button or the power button and then hold down the power and the home button and then after that we'll release the uh, power button and keep holding the home button okay Let's say waiting for iPod Touch or whatever device you have plugged in, and then it's going to be doing all this stuff. Let's say waiting for reboot. Let's say installing RAM disk, and it'll, this should pop up. And it'll be doing all this stuff. It'll say rebooting. It'll say done. And now all these files of code should be on your device. Okay, then you get this symbol is just going to be installing all the bundles and stuff, all the files that you need. When you It'll reboot, but then when you go up to Cydia, it'll be it should be like a white box, and when you click on it, it won't it'll just open and then close. See, it'll open and close, open and close. It won't work. So then what you're going to do is you're going to rerun Red Snow. So you're going to come up to Red Snow, rerun it, double click on that, click Browse, find the 4.3.1 firmware that you used before, 4.3.1. Double click on that. It'll say Processing Firmware. It'll say it's identified, and you're going to click Next. Let it do all this crap. Okay, then you're going to uh, uncheck these and click Just Boot Tethered right now. So you're going to click that one. Okay, that will reboot your, uh, your device in the tethered jailbreak. So the City app will work after that. So after you click that, you're going to click Next. And you're going to go through the steps again. Turn off your iPod. Just like that, and then when you turn it off, click next, holding the home button for three seconds, home and power button, or sorry, holding the power button for three seconds and holding the power and home button for ten seconds, then release the power button and keep holding the home button, just like you did before. Okay, it'll start doing this again. Uploading for a stage, waiting for a reboot, and now it should flash the screen and it should show a pineapple just like that. And it'll say done on the screen right here. Done. You can just click finish and then you let the you finish it on the uh, you let the rest happen on your iPod touch. You just, you just wait. Alright, then after it reboots, you go over, if you click on the Cydia app, it'll say preparing file system. 
and the city will exit when complete. So this is how you jailbreak the 4.3.2 firmware using the 4.3.1 uh, downloaded firmware. So after this completes, I'll show you after that. Okay, so then after it completes the uh, file system through Cydia, it will restart your iPod just like that, or your iDevice, and you're going to click on Cydia again, and it will load just like this. See, there's the home page of Cydia, and it is good to go. And just to show you one more time that I am running the 4.3.2 newest firmware, going to about there, 4.3.2, okay? So if you guys have any questions, just post a comment below or send me a direct message and I'll get back to you um, as fast as I can. Um, remember this is a tethered jailbreak, so every time you turn your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad off, you're going to have to rerun the uh, Red Snow file up here and do exactly what I did and click the uh, Just Boot Tethered right now. So anytime it, the device shuts off or the battery dies or anything like that, you're going to have to rerun the Red Snow file with the 4.3.1 uh, firmware over top of it. So just remember that anytime the device turns off until there's an untethered jailbreak, um, you will have to do that every single time that the device turns off or respring's or anything like that. So that is the 4.3.2 jailbreak. If you guys have any questions, just post a comment below or send me a direct message. I'll get back to you. Uh, as fast as I can. But remember to rate the video, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe to me for new videos just like this. Alright, thanks guys.